high and you say that when I call upon you you will answer me you will be with me in trouble he says I will deliver you and honor you with long life you said you'll satisfy me and you'll show me your salvation I cannot die now I cannot die in 2021 it doesn't matter what the world says it doesn't matter what science says you see I'm praying through the word I'm praying through the word I'm praying through the word and as you're doing that oh the anointing of God comes pray scripture there are many people in the world who pray emotionally not according to scripture God I have told people is not appealed by your emotions God is appealed by your revelation he sent his word and healed our diseases somebody shout hallelujah you must cultivate a life of praying through scripture. That is why it's not possible to have effective prayer lives if you do not understand the word. If you do not have a revelation, especially the present truth, the grace, the ministry of Christ in the new birth. If you don't know the word, it's a hard place for you to learn to pray. So, when the Bible says in Psalms, uh, verse, uh, Psalms 119, the psalmist says something beautiful. Psalms 119, let's begin from the 13th verse. He says, with my lips I have declared all the judgments of thy mouth. Was he just speaking them before people? No, that was a place of prayer. When you are in a place of prayer, your lips have to learn to declare the judgments of the mouth of God. He says, I've rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as in all riches. He says, verses 15, I'll meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. Verses 16 says, I will delight myself in thy statutes and I will not forget thy word. When you learn to delight yourself in the statutes of God, not to remember the word of God in your place of meditation, because people don't know that actually meditation is prayer. Meditation is the deepest form of prayer. Because it's the realm of man creating. The things that are not seen, to translate them to the world of the things that are seen, the world of, of seen things. It's the, the law of exchange can only be uh, activated in the realm of, 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 of meditation where we get things from the world that is not seen and then bring them in the world that is seen. It's a very beautiful place. You cannot be a, an effective praying person when you do not have a place of meditation in the Word of God. If you're complaining, like the Bible says, complain according to His Word. If you're murmuring and crying, cry according to truth. If you're interceding, first get to know the will of God in the word, then pray. Somebody right now has a person dying on COVID. And you know what they're praying? Father, if it's your will, heal them. If it's not your will, don't heal them. We shall be okay. And then they quote Job. Shall we expect to receive only good from God? People should understand how the word of God works. Do you know people think that everything in scripture means that it's for them, for their application? Scripture can say Judas killed himself. And there are parts in scripture that can say, in another portion of scripture, God do likewise. So, do you get those two lines and hang yourself? No, you don't. Peter speaks of men which are unstable and unlearned, who twist the scriptures as they do many of them for their own destruction. If you do not know the right application of the word, you could actually kill yourself. Reading the Bible, you can destroy yourself. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Bible is clear of the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for iniquities. Just as our peace was upon him. He became sin that knew no sin, that we being dead and two sins might live unto righteousness. And he says by his stripes we were healed. The scriptures and the promise are evident. And somebody is telling God, if it's your will, let me heal of COVID. If it's not your will, let me not heal of COVID. What's wrong with you? So if they die, oh, what's the will of God? No, there are people who are trying to seek the will of God and there are people who have understood that the new birth has a revelation of his will. I've given you the scripture. Somebody shout hallelujah. When you understand the will of God concerning a thing, when you learn to pray scripture, in the 48th verse again, in the book of Psalms again, Psalms 119, he says, my hands also, my hands also, will I lift up 
unto thy commandments, which I have loved, and I will meditate in your statutes. So when I'm raising my hands up to praise God, I find myself quoting these things. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He that forgiveth all my sins and healeth all my diseases. He has redeemed my life from destruction and crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed as the eagle. And as you're praying, you start feeling the Holy Spirit going through you. When I'm going to pray for the sick, I meditate in those words how God anoints Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with, the, with power. And he goes about healing all which are oppressed of the devil for God is with him. I'm speaking back his word and I'm praying scripture and as I'm speaking that I feel power come I feel faith rise I feel the glory of God stir my spirit and I start to look for a blind man why because the word of God is light it is power somebody shout hallelujah Father, I thank you because of your righteousness in Christ. I thank you that because of that, your life is in me. Hallelujah. I cannot fall sick from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. You say none in Zion shall say I am sick. For you shall forgive all their iniquity. I'm a forgiven man. I'm a consecrated man. I'm a sanctified man by the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you for my day. I thank you for my morning. The day responds to me. You told me never to worry or be anxious about anything oh hallelujah glory to god for you said for tomorrow has its own to worry because you know it's under the the the, the responsibility to co provide for me the days and years are submitted to me according to your will and your word and so i thank you for this day as your blessings surround me for i'm blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in christ jesus have been given everything that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called me to glory and virtue the grace of god is working in me and i'm increasing every other day because grace and peace are multiplied through the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ now to him which is able to do exceedingly abundantly above that which i dare to ask or think according to the working power that works in me now you're going to surprise me because you're going to do exceeding thank you lord because you're going to amaze me thank you lord because you're going to flip me what I thought I know I'm gonna be shocked that I did not know because you're doing exceedingly abundantly oh I'm more than a conqueror by Christ which strengthens me not a conqueror more than a conqueror sickness cannot come because I'm more than a conqueror death cannot come because I'm not a, I'm more than a conqueror Psalms 91 you say because he has set his love on you because he has oh, he, because he has loved you the Bible says you shall honor him I thank you God because of my love for you as it is revealed in my spirit you honor me hallelujah you will deliver me the Bible says you shall set him up on high because he has known your name and because I know you my your name you have set me on high and you say that when I call upon you you will answer me you will be with me in trouble he says I will deliver you and honor you with long life you said you'll satisfy me and you'll show me your salvation I cannot die now I cannot die in 2021 it doesn't matter what the world says it doesn't matter what science says you see i'm praying through the word i'm praying through the word i'm praying through the word and as you're doing that oh the anointing of god comes somebody shout amen my children are blessed my children are blessed you say they are for signs miracles and wonders they are potent i can't have a lame child i can't have a deaf deaf child i can't have a dumb child our children can't have autism for you say that they shall be as trees oh glory to god the planting of the lord they are the sacrifice which is worthy and perfect before him i claim those things my children are taught of you their peace is many my spiritual my biological have peace in their homes their marriages have peace their children have peace their businesses have peace why because i'm in isaiah 54 verses 13 and i'm speaking the word on your lives when you learn to speak the word you are effectively pray praying then there are these ones who are saying god i'm useless 
you don't need anything from me and I know it. And, and they, they call that humility. If you will just help me. You just, you just help me. Just, I, I, I can't even promise you what, what, just help, you know, you cannot have answers. Bring that way. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, pray scripture. It's the one thing that helps you separate purpose from lust. When you understand the word of God, you cannot last in prayer. The Bible says in James 4, chapter the third verse, he asks and receive not, because he asks and means that you may consume it upon your lusts. The word of God helps you separate purpose from lust. When you can quote scripture, it means that you're not asking for it from the realm of lust, but you're asking for it from the realm of purpose concerning his promises. Somebody shout hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Because your word has come and it is changing us. And I thank you because tremendous power is available right now. <laughs> I speak healing to the sick right now. Whatever disease it is, COVID, HIV, cancer, tumors, disappear right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for your marriages. I pray for your career. I pray for your businesses. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that may God align and establish that which he has promised through his word. May God give you such an effectual life of prayer that the evidence of his anointing, the evidence of his power working in your life will be not only unquestionable, but that men and women will seek to fetch from the same source. I decree that God multiplies you and increases you in the season when men are cursing down. That you are at your most healthy time of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That your strides are free with, from, from, from struggle and strife. I decree and I declare that the precision of God's vision on your life is going to amaze the world. God is going to quicken you. God is going to establish you. He's introducing you in the places that matter. I decree and I declare that you are in the greatest time of your life and in a few months, a few weeks from now, the testimony of God on your life will amaze the whole world. In Jesus' mighty name and all said, said, Amen. Give him a mighty hand clap of praise.